Minecraft life hacks and tricks seem clickbait, but actually 100% work. So today I'm testing them to prove it. Watch until the end to impress your friends. Things to make Minecraft easier? All right, hit me, what do we got? <laughs> All right, Trey's gonna show us. So first up, the shield glitch. We've got a shield and a nether portal. What exactly is it gonna do? Take it to the nether? That's not exactly clickbait or a life hack. Starting off is a glitch that makes you almost unkillable. What? No, that has to be a joke. Wait a minute, is his shield frozen? When you go through a nether portal holding the shield up, the shield is kept in a blocking state. Wait, what? Which means you don't take any damage. Can you still use your sword? Oh my goodness, wait, he can? No way! He's just invincible. Yeah, right. Seems like clickbait to me. So let's switch into survival mode here, guys. I'm going to grab my shield, put it in my off hand. And you can see at the moment, if I hold up my shield, I'm not able to use my sword. You can see this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My sword is not moving whatsoever. We're going to keep holding up this shield as we go through the nether portal and see if this is legit. All right, we're going through. You can see the shield is in the middle and it's a blocking position. Down we go and boom. All right, I mean, it's... Oh, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. Run, 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 run. Okay, so my shield has returned back to its normal position, but the question is, does it still work? All right, here is our piglin, and oh my goodness, look at this! No hands on the keyboard, and my shield is protecting me. Oh my, it actually works! Even though my shield doesn't look like it's blocking, it actually still is blocking? Three, two, one, go! Oh my, crazy. I can literally use my sword and my shield at the same time, and that's all I've got to do? What? I literally just don't have to touch anything, and I'll be invincible. This is literally a force field in Minecraft. What? And you can attack mobs. This is overpowered, guys. This is actually overpowered. You could break Minecraft with this. Ten second, Minecraft. Tip. Don't make a bunch of powered rails and waste that gold. Well, then what else am I supposed to do? Use sand with water underneath. What? The minecart won't no way. And it skips over the water. And it doesn't we'll bounce or get slower. There he goes. We have tested things like this in the past that have used soul sand and water to create bubble columns, but the minecarts always end up bouncing or slowing down over time, and they never quite reach their destination. However, this TikTok is promising that if we build it in this particular motion, where the bubble column is only one deep here with soul sand covered up in water, that the minecart will not lose speed and will continue going. So we're going to have to see for ourselves if this is actually real or not. Now, I want to see whether we can do this without building sides onto our minecart, and if it will still work or whether you do have to have walls up like they did in the video. So let's put down our minecart, activate it with a redstone torch, give it a little bit of a push, and here it goes in. Yo, bro, it's literally going and it's not slowing down at all. Oh my goodness, it actually works. What? And we didn't even have to put walls up. That is cheap as. Let's see if it works while it's still sitting in the minecart. And it's actually working. And it's making the rail sound. That's just whack, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, why are you building rails with powered rails? You've got to replace them with soul sand and water, guys. This is the superior way to travel. Alrighty, what are we building here? We got some stone bricks, a slab, some snow, some glass. What? Oh, okay, we're making a snow golem and then pushing him into a little glass cage. What is this? A snow golem display? <laughs> not exactly a life hack. I mean, it's pretty funny, but not a life hack. What is... Oh, it's an infinite snow generator, but snowman's not even standing on those blocks. How does that work? Well, let's say you don't have one of these biomes or your house is really far away from the nearest one and you just want to get a bunch of snow. Well, then this snow farm is perfect for you. That is, if it works. So let's place down two by two stone bricks. We've got a slab over here. Then we're going to place two snow blocks above there we're gonna place glass panes one two three on this side on the other side we're placing one two stone bricks chuck on a car pumpkin top but um but we got ourselves this beautiful snowman then we're gonna push him right into that corner there and uh seal him up with some glass i'm sorry mr snowman then we're gonna destroy these two stone bricks there and you just want to build up and we're gonna cover him over with some stone brick slabs i think that's what they did in the video just like that ah oh, this poor guy is like how how did i end up here my life is meaningless. Anyway, so that's how it's set up. Now, the weird thing to me is he's not actually standing in these blocks, but he seems to have dropped snow on them. Well, let's see if it actually regenerates like the video shows. We're going to switch into survival mode, guys. And ready? Three, two, one. Hey, look at that. That is insane, guys. You break it and it just auto regenerates. And you've got three things here, so you can just spam just like that. Oh my, look at how much snow is generated. Guys, even though we are in a snow biome, this is way easier than you have to like walk around like this and then you accidentally dig up grass, you dig up snow. With this, you can literally just stand here and just hold down and you just generate so much snow. Look, it doesn't even matter if you're one of these biomes. You need to get one of these if you want to build with snow. Ooh, another build. Okay, what new life hack do we have now? Some obsidian with a sticky piston and a slime block.
block that looks like a slime block launcher to me. I'm not sure what it's for, though. We've got oak plank walls and an oak plank roof. I think that was four blocks high, and he broke a block above the launcher. Okay, we're digging under. Got a redstone torch. Some redstone coming out of here. Boy, this video is moving fast. Pressure plate. We're digging round to the back side of this room. We've got a repeater there with a three repeater tick on the top here. A dark oak trap door. And whoa, what was that? An armor stand with like netherite armor and a head? Was that this person's player skin? I'm not 100% sure. I think so. Now we're putting in some glass at the front. What is this? I'm so confused. Okay, he stands there. Oh, it's a mirror, guys. And it actually works. And you leave and your reflection disappears. You go up to it and your reflection reappears. Oh, that's genius. That is so smart, guys. I love that. Because the mirror in Minecraft is just dope. So first off, we're going to need to build that slime block launcher. And for that, we need to dig out one, two, three, four blocks in a diamond shape and replace those with obsidian. Then in the center, dig down one, two blocks. We're going to need that sticky piston and a slime block. Now, we need to surround this in walls. You can use any block you like. I'm going to go ahead and use oak planks like they did in the video. And I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks wide. And then you can bring it back as far as you like. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my myself an axe here and just use commands to do this because I am too lazy to build this properly but what's important it was one or two three four blocks high I think so let's go ahead and do that slash slash walls and then oak underscore planks boom all right we got ourselves a house here guys that was much quicker than doing it his ways now he broke out the front three blocks here that's where our mirror bit is actually going to go um, and you can decorate this however you like but now we need to figure out the redstone part so there was definitely a roof on top here guys oak planks boom there we go. And then he needed to break the space above our slime block and put a trap door just there. Now we need to hook up all the redstone. So underneath this front bit here, they dug under to where the piston is. That'll be right there. Make sure not to destroy that obsidian. We need a redstone torch there, I think. Yeah, okay. That activates the slime block and this redstone dust has to come up and be attached to a pressure plate. Does the pressure plate go here? I I'm really not sure. Okay. We put an oak plate there, pressure plate there, and then the redstone underneath. I think that'll be the way to go. All right, there we go. Let's see if that works. I'm not, I, I feel like I've done this wrong. Oh wait, I know what I've done wrong, guys. We're gonna dig down one block here. The redstone has to go into the side of that torch, then come up like so. All right, let's try that again. And hey, all right, our slime block is going down. Then we need to continue this redstone around the side here, guys, all the way back here. Now they've also placed a repeater in here somewhere along the way, so we're gonna do the same thing. So let's bring our redstone back here. We're gonna have a repeater, and this has to be on full ticks like so. And then they started a building up as well, all the way up to the roof. Now, I'm not sure if there's rules about where exactly you're supposed to put this redstone. Shouldn't matter, guys. But let's go ahead and bring that all the way up. And this has to attach into our trap door like so. Then we just need to put an armor stand up here like so. So we're going to crouch. And while you're crouching, place down the armor stand on that trap door. And you're going to give it your player head so it looks just like an actual reflection. And guys, put on whatever armor you're planning on wearing. So we're going to chuck on some diamond armor so this reflection looks legit. Let's put some diamond armor on our armor stand. And let's see whether this works, guys. All right, we're going to cover up this redstone just here. And ready? Three, two, one. And we get on and... Yeah, I feel like I've broken it, guys. What did I do wrong? Is it making it up? Oh, it's literally just miss. Oh my god. My red side is just too short, guys. I'm gonna need to chuck in another repeater. All right, let's grab ourselves another repeater. Put that just there. And take two, guys. All right, and stand front and... Hey, look at that. I've got myself my reflection, guys. Oh, that is legit. Guys. Look at that. We're both wearing diamond armor. We both got our heads. That is really, really cool. And then to finish it off, we can put some white stained glass here. That just makes the mirror look more realistic. Oh, I love. I really love that. Now, they also built this front wall up a little bit higher, so you couldn't actually see the armor stand up here. And I think that's a good touch as well. I feel you could approve this if you used a skulk sensor, because then it just detect when you're nearby. But the pressure plate is kind of cool, too. And you come down here, you say hi to your reflection. And once you're done, you say goodbye, me. You walk away, and it disappears. That is brilliant. An illegal Minecraft attack. What's illegal about a nether portal? We got a piston and some water. Wait, what? Did he just push the water block through the nether portal? Did I see that correctly? That's impossible. Or not? What? Water in the nether? No way! I mean, you can't normally place water in the nether because it just evaporates. But I never thought about placing the water in the overworld where you are able to and then pushing it through using a piston. That is genius. I mean, you can push blocks, so why wouldn't you be able to push water? It makes perfect sense in my head. So let's place down our nether portal. Then right behind here, we're going to need our piston, our water bucket. Let's go ahead and in 3, 2, 1, click the button. Bam! Oh my, the water disappeared. It might have actually just worked. Yo, no way. All right, moment of truth. Let's head to the nether. Okay, do we see any water? 
Oh no, it must be clickbait. Oh my god, water in the nether. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Except it, it is clickbait. <laughs> Guys, look at that. Even if you push water into the nether, it would still evaporate. Look at this stuff. It just goes poof. How exactly is that water surviving, guys? There's only one way to do it, and that's clickbait. And I wanted to show you just how easy it was for them to clickbait you because I hate clickbaiters, and I want to expose them. This is what they did. Underneath the piston, is they hid a command block that was repeat always active. And this basically tested when that piston is activated, it sets blocks into the nether, some water. And because it's using a command, it doesn't evaporate. <sighs> guys, I do not like clickbait. We do not stand for clickbait on this channel. So if you want to put an end to clickbait on the internet, make sure to subscribe and keep watching the videos for some more actually working Minecraft life hacks. Wait for what? That's a wheelbarrow. Whoa! <laughs> that was a brilliant troll. Except for the troll that they didn't show us how to make it. I want my own wheelbarrow pumpkin jump scare. It seems like a great prank to play on your friends. But I reckon we can figure it out. So obviously we're going to need a composter. Okay, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do now? No, no, the armor stand's gonna have to go down first. So let's break down two blocks in the ground. We've got a piston and armor stand that's gonna launch it up and we're gonna put a carved pumpkin on his head. Then we wanna place a compost above our armor stand and above here, we're gonna need a piston facing downwards. Chuck a button onto that piston, activate that, boom, and down it goes. All right, so now we got the pumpkin hidden into our composter. We're gonna decorate it a little bit. We had a spruce fence gate facing into this way. That was activated. And these are like the handles of the wheelbarrow. That's super cute. And then we have a grindstone coming off the side of the wheelbarrow, just like so. Now we just need the redstone so we can place like a pressure plate there and then that activates redstone somehow. Okay, if we just place the redstone there, will that do it? All right, there we go. We walk up and... Hey! <laughs> Peekaboo! Okay, that's really cute. And then you walk away, it goes back down. Now, if you didn't want the pressure plate there, because obviously that kind of gives it away, you could give yourself a skulk sensor, guys. So if we do give at P skulk underscore sensor, we can place this down underneath the ground. All right, so if we go ahead and place that there, oh, we're going to need to place it and boom. So now it just looks like an ordinary wheelbarrow. So if any of your friends come along, they're like, hmm, look at this wheelbarrow. What's going on here? Oh, this is very cute. They can get the shock of their lives when the pop goes, Pew! how to make an XP bottle. I thought you couldn't craft those. Okay, glass bottle with redstone dust. If this works, it'll be the ultimate Minecraft life. Hey, so glass bottle in the center, surrounded by four redstone dust, and boom, 16 bottles of enchanting. But that's just too easy. It's too easy, guys. So, uh, obviously, it's clickbait. I wanted to show you again. Thank these clickbaiters, guys. Oh, it's so easy for them to get us. I I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years. I know all the recipes back to front. This isn't a real recipe. Oh, I kind of wish it was, though, because this would be a super easy way to get XP. I, I You know, low-key Mojang, maybe add this. But, guys, how do they do this? Well, let me expose them. They use a data pack changing the code of Minecraft. So, if we do slash data pack, and instead of enabling, we disable. Check this out. File slash craft XP dot zip boom and now that crafting recipe isn't going to work but guys for our next minecraft hack we're actually out of time so you're gonna have to check out the next video i'll see you there until then ey stream out Bye. thank you to all these epic ey mega fans for making today's video possible if you want a shout out at the end of the video all you have to do is click the join button below this video and scroll down to become an ey mega fan and get a shout out